and, and full disclosure, I mean, I got into weather in the first place as a kid because storms are exciting yeah. to me. And so I might come across like, wow, this is such a cool storm. <laughs> I, I, my tomatoes are going to pay the price, my trees, flowers, the whole thing. Doesn't mean like you can't enjoy else. your work. That's, right. that's true. That's true. So let me show you what's happening right now outside. This is the view of our camera that's out at Denver City Park. You can see uh, from the Museum of Nature and Science some dark skies off to the west and this is what it looks like up at Loveland where snow is already filling in areas right along the divide Loveland a basin Eldora uh, that granted some of them are closed but they're gonna see about two to three feet of snow rain increases down here this evening the snow level tonight drops to about 7,000 feet rain changes to snow not tonight for Denver late Thursday and early on Friday. So here's the troubles that we see. The rain changes snow Thursday evening, tree damage likely Thursday night. With that, some power outage is a possibility and the sub-freezing temperatures Friday and Saturday morning. That's when you want to CYP. Make sure you cover your plants. And this is what's going to be happening as far as the rain and snow coming our way from the west. It's still really warm, 69 degrees at DI. High today was 71, 63 downtown. Humidity is still low at 22%. Actually, 73, check that on the high today. The normal highs at 72, we're not going to see anything like that for a while. So there's some of the rain showing up to the southwest of the Denver area. To the north, pretty good little band of thunderstorms from around uh, Windsor over toward Greeley, up toward Alt. It's going to continue to move quickly toward the north northeast. So arriving in none by about 643 and Cheyenne by 8 o'clock at the latest. Look at all the snow and rain developing out to the west of us as a cold front cuts across the state right now moving in to the central part of the mountain. So overnight tonight that precip increases, especially midnight to early tomorrow morning. Strong easterly flow at the surface. And that means upslope conditions, heavy moisture coming in. 38 tonight for Denver, so nothing below freezing. But look at this moisture tomorrow just packs it along the front range a classic upslope storm heavy mountain snows on the plains a cold rain until late in the day when colder air starts to filter in only in the low to mid 40s for highs tomorrow tomorrow night that's when the main event comes in as the colder air flows in around the storm heavy snow all the way down to 5,000 feet a lot of that's going to melt when it hits the surface in the Denver area but it's not going to do that at elevations above 6,000 feet for sure so this doesn't really wind down until Friday Friday afternoon. As far as the amount of snow, we're going to look at two to three feet up toward Rocky Mountain National Park. We'll see eight to 16 inches from Georgetown south toward uh, the, the, the central mountain areas. Four to eight inches of snow, Castle Rock, the Parker area, two to four in Denver. But a lot of that is going to be on the grassy surfaces, wet on the roads. One to two inches of rain mixed with snow on the plains. Tonight, that rain increases the snow level at 7,000 feet. Tomorrow, the high only low to mid 40s periods of rain, windy, cold, nasty, heavy mountain snow. Main event comes in tomorrow night and Friday with the rain changing to snow, and then the snow changes back to rain Friday afternoon. Those are obviously our weather alert days. Saturday, cold again, 30 in the morning, but then 65 by Sunday and 70 coming up by next Wednesday. The main event, all we need is a bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> there we go. Thank, Thank you, Mike. Round one.